the buildings of the Bayun Temple is divided into the middle, east, and west routes, as well as the rear courtyard. After exiting the side entrance of the Kyuzu Deity Hall, passing through the doorways on both sides of the Kyuzu Deity Hall, one can enter the east route, west route, and backyard buildings of the Bayun Temple, heading west through the Huishan for D Gateway into the west route. The west route is a place where all beings meet with the deities. Upon entering the west route, one is immediately greeted by a bronze beast named Special Deity. The Special Deity has the body of a mule, the face of a donkey, the ears of a horse, and the hooves of a cow. Legend has it that Special is a divine beast with unique abilities, and that if one feels pain in a certain part of their body, they can relieve the pain by touching the corresponding part of Special Deity. Entering the main courtyard of the West Route, one first sees the Wenchong Deity Hall. Inside this Deity Hall is enshrined Wenchong Celestial Lord in the middle, with Confucius and Ju Shi and Celestial attendants on both sides. The deity standing outside is Kui Crossing. They are protectors of scholars and students, and are able to bestow intelligence on people, and provide assistance to pass examinations and tests. The bronze statues were forged during Wanli year in the Ming Dynasty. The Yuanjun Deity Hall is located south of the Wenchong Deity Hall. This deity halis, also called Goddesses Hall, and was built in the 21st year of Qianlong in the Qing Dynasty, 1756. The deity in the middle is Goddess Bixia Yuanjin, who can bring lovers together and blesses the family peace and harmony. The goddesses on the both side are Songzi, Quixian, Yang Wang, and Tianhua, who are able to bring babies for devotees, help conception, help pregnant women to deliver their babies, and protect the children grow up healthily. There is a small independent courtyard to the west of the Yuanjun Deity Hall, where contains the Baoxian Deity Hall and the Liuzu Deity Hall. The Baoxian Deity Hall was built in the 13th year of Jiaqing in the Qing Dynasty 1808. Enshrined here are our 80 immortals, which represent the poor, rich, pretty, ugly, old, young, male and female. It's a proof that anyone can be immortal. The Liuzu Deity Hall was initially built in the 13th year of Guangxu in the Qing Dynasty 1887. Enshrined here is Liuzu, who is the most popular deity in the Eight Immortals among the folks with his full name Liu Dongbin. After mastering the key of Dao, he continues to save all living creatures, help kind-hearted people, punish bad people, and combat evil spirits. He never refuses to respond to a prayer. The last hall on the west route is the Yuanchen Deity Hall, located north of the Wenchong Deity Hall. The Yuanchen Deity Hall, also known as the 60-year cycle hall, was built in the first year of Mingchang, the Jin Dynasty 1190. Enshrined here is Dongwu Godness and 60 Taisuis, 60 Destiny Years Deities. Dongwu is in charge of all the stars in the heaven and the people's life on earth. She can remove disasters and lengthen life for people. Taisui is the protector of a people's journey of life. Since Zia Dynasty, people counted year, month and date by combining each of the, the heavenly stems with the 12 earthly branches in regular order, which formed a cycle of 60. There are 60 deities for 60 years and each deity is on duty for one year. Everyone belongs to one deity of the year in which they were born. The 12 Chinese zodiac sign wall, measuring about 10 meters in length and 1 meter in height, is located on the southwest wall opposite the Yuanchen Deity Hall. Every year during the Spring Festival, visitors and pilgrims to the Baiyun Temple from long lines to touch the zodiac signs on the wall, first by gently touching the zodiac sign for the new year to bring good luck in the new year, then they go to touch their own zodiac sign to pray for their own wishes to come true in the new year. The Chinese zodiac corresponds to the record of a certain animal, according to the birth year of a person, commonly known as zodiac and animal science. Taoism inherits the rich traditional Chinese culture and incorporates many folk customs. 
Through the small gate on the west side of the Yuan Chen Deity Hall, you will enter the backyard at the north end of the Baiyun Temple. It is a quiet and elegant garden, named Yanji Garden, also known as Small Penglai, built in the 13th year of Guangxu in the Qing Dynasty 1887. It is connected by three parts. On the west part of the courtyard, there are retirement buildings for old Taoist monks to rest quietly. There is a small pavilion on the rockery in front of the building, named Miaoxiong Pavilion. There is a rockery in each of the three parts of the Yunji Garden, which symbolizes the three sacred mountains of Taoism, Penglai, Fangzhang, and Jingzhou. Through the stone gate, one can enter the middle part of the backyard. The main building in the middle part of the backyard is the Jitai and Yunji Shanfang. Built in the 16th year of Guangxu, the Qing Dynasty 1890, and located on the central axis of the Baiyun Temple. The Jitai is located behind the Sanqing Hall and Siyu Deity Hall, facing north, with covered galleries on both sides. It is a place for receiving Buddhist vows. The Jitai is a single eaved gable and hip roof pavilion. A plaque hanging from the north eave reads Zijong Ki. This Jitai is the venue for the Taoist Quanjin sect to confer the three great vows, namely the initial vows, middle vows, and vows for becoming a celestial being. The purpose is to promote goodness, stop evil, and abandon falsehood and return to the true self. Yunji Shanfang is located north of the Jitai, facing south, with a width of three rooms. It is the place where the Taoist Quanjin sect preaches the vows. The Baiyun Temple preserves a large number of inscriptions. There are galleries on both sides of Jitai connected to the opposite Yunji Shanfang. It is the place where the Taoist Quanjin sect preaches the vows. There are also many famous people's paintings and calligraphy works. The galleries have exits on the east and west sides, leading to the east part and west part of the backyard. From the middle part of the backyard, enter the east part of the backyard. In the east part of the backyard, there is the Yunhua Xiongguan and the Yuhi Pavilion. The Yunhua Xiongguan faces south and is connected to the galleries in the middle courtyard on its west side. There is the Yuhi Pavilion on the rockery, which is in response to the Miao Xiong Pavilion. After leaving the Yunji Garden in the backyard of the Baiyun Temple, you enter the east root buildings. The East Route is a place where Taoist priests practice. The Zen Wu Deity Hall mainly enshrines some Wu Celestial Lord. He helps the Jade Emperor to preside over the North of Heaven. Often he protects the kind-hearted people and is able to eliminate disasters for all living creatures. However, he also comes out punishments upon bad people. The Master Luo Pagoda is located to the east of the halls in the East Route. Master Luo was born in Jiangxi province who had sacred power and lived in the capital of country as a hermit for many years. At the beginning of the Qing dynasty, there were lots of people being killed for fought against the royal command. Whoever must be killed if he kept the traditional hair. Luo operated his sacred power to save the dying people. After Master Luo went to heaven as a mortal 1727, the Emperor Yongzheng ordered to build the pagoda as respecting. The Sihang Deity Hall is located on the central axis of the East Route, south of the Zunwu Deity Hall. The Sihang Deity Hall enshrines Sihang Pudu Yuan Tongzizai Chonzun Goddess of the Benevolent Ship, who is called Guanyin Bodhisattva in Buddhism. Her sacred power is limitless, thus she can save all poor on the earth, and never refuses to respond to a prayer. The Sand Crossing Deity Hall faces the Sihang Deity Hall. Enshrined in this hall are three star deities, namely Fu Crossing Star of Auspiciousness in the middle, who blesses family in happiness and harmony, Lu Crossing Star of Official Rank on the west, who helps people to get a good job and achieve promotion, and Shou Crossing Star of Longevity on the east, who makes people in good health and long life. Through the doorway on the west side of the Sihang Deity Hall, you can return to the middle root buildings of the Baiyun Temple.
Beijing Baiyun Temple, which is over 1,200 years old since its founding in the Tong Dynasty and 800 years old since its reconstruction in the Yuan Dynasty, is a historic and culturally rich Taoist temple. As one of the three major ancestral temples of the Quanzhen sect of Taoism, Beijing Baiyun Temple is not only a place for devotees to pray for blessings and pay respects, but also a sacred place for many Taoist enthusiasts.